Hello everyone. Well, it's still looking like a nice one today in and around the Quad Cities. No chance of rain, mostly sunny skies. I think most of us are going to see high temperatures in the low 80s, but the western portion of the area may make it into the mid 80s. Places like Muscatine, Iowa City, Wapolo might make it to 84, 85 degrees. Not going to be much wind around this afternoon. Winds only picking up to around 10 miles per hour. And I think during the evening hours, skies are still going to be mostly clear. But after midnight, skies will become partly cloudy. And maybe as early as about 4 a.m. or so, we could start to see a few showers pop up. But until 4 a.m., I think it's going to be completely dry. We'll cool down to around 63 degrees tonight and still not much wind, just 5 to 10 miles per hour. So let's start things at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning because I still think we'll be dealing with a few showers. So I do want to mention for the Friday morning commute, it is possible you might drive into one of these showers. But notice more aren't seeing rain <laughs> than are. So I will say it's more likely that you won't encounter a shower for the morning commute, but there is technically a possibility. And really it looks like throughout the morning hours, there'll just be a few showers here or there, but not much going on. We are 10 a.m., still pretty quiet, but once we get into the afternoon, I think the activity is going to start to pick up. This isn't a cold front yet. The cold front actually doesn't arrive in our area until Saturday, but this is going to be activity popping up ahead of the cold front, uh, beginning about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then it looks like for tomorrow, a peak in the activity during the late afternoon, probably about 4 o'clock or so. So it is more likely that you're going to encounter rain driving home from work tomorrow then driving to work in the morning. Scattered showers and storms late afternoon tomorrow. Not worried about any severe storms though right now, but there could be heavy rain and lightning in spots. Notice that temperatures are probably going to be about the same with a lot of us in the low 80s again, though it's possible some, depending on how much rain you see, only top out in the upper 70s. There's also going to be more wind around tomorrow. In the afternoon, we're going to see those gusts around 20 miles per hour. Let's talk about Friday evening plans, though I think we'll be past the peak of the activity. That's going to be in the late afternoon hours. I still think isolated showers and storms are going to be around. It really looks like isolated showers and storms throughout Friday night. But the best chance of rain is probably coming on Saturday when the actual cold front arrives.